welcome to FMPC News. My name is Leila Awino and this is your special Pathfinder News Bulletin, which you would not want to miss. The Pathfinders have had a phenomenal action-packed year filled with lots of activities which include teamwork and personal growth. But guess what? This year isn't over yet because we are gearing up for a World Pathfinder Sabbath happening on the 21st of September 2024. And you wouldn't want to miss it, so mark your calendars. Throughout this beautiful bulletin, we'll be hearing from our very own Flying Marine Pathfinders, the legends themselves, who've seen it all, from camping to mountain climbing and all sorts of pathfindering fun, including a glimpse of what to expect on this forthcoming Sabbath. From sports to business, general updates and even the weather, we've got it all covered for you. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started on this beautiful new segment that we have prepared for you. Let's kick things off with some exciting Pathfinder news. Now, Pathfinders all over the world have been embraced by this year's theme, Jesus comes with you, which means a lot more than just words to us who've gone camping. Now to dive in deeper, we have Jewel chatting with Waylon, who'll be talking about our Pathfinder laws, pledges, and values we hold dear, and some of the general lessons that we've learned in this club this year. From knot tying to Bible study, it's been a year packed with growth and discovery. Now over to you, Jewel. Everyone, this is Jewel, and welcome to our general news segment as we count down to the much anticipated Pathfinder Sabbath on the 21st of September. Today, we'll talk about a few things. We'll talk about the Pathfinder theme for this year, the laws and the pledges that guide us, and what Pathfinders have generally learned in this, this year. To help us with this, I have Waylon here with me. Welcome, Waylon. Thanks, Jewel. I'm really excited to be here. Let's start with the Pathfinder theme for this year. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? That's incredible. But aside from the from the theme for this year, could you tell us more about the laws and the pledges and why they are so important to us? about the big event. What are viewers to expect? Thank you, Elon. Thanks for sharing all those things you told us. And for all those who are who are watching, we can't wait to see you here as you join us for an incredible and truly special Pathfinder Sabbath on the 21st. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jewel and Waylon. Next, we move on to something that gets all Pathfinders excited, sports. Physical fitness is a key part of the Pathfinder experience, and our members have been busy with drills and activities that test both their bodies and minds. These drills are not just about staying, in, staying fit. They teach us teamwork, discipline and perseverance, qualities that are very essential to our spiritual work with God. From matching formations to team exercises, drills help pathfinders sharpen their skills and build unity. Joining us in this segment is Harold, who will be speaking with Ushini to explain what drills are all about. I'm sure you'll be fascinated by the insights they'll provide on why this training is so important. Let's head over to Harold and Ushini for more. Hello everyone, my name is Harold and today we're going to gain insight about one of the main activities Pathfinders take part in, drills. For us to learn more, I've invited my friend Ushini to explain more for us. Thank you Harold, I'm excited to share with everyone about drills. You're welcome Ushini. Let's 
start with the basics. What exactly are drills? Drills are structured movements that pathfinders perform in order to move in unison. They include precision and teamwork. That sounds interesting. Could you give me exact drills that pathfinders do? Certainly. They include matching informations, practicing turnings, and many others. How are drills significant in the lives of pathfinders? You see, pathfinder, pathfinders do these things in order to get teamwork and coordination. Also, God is a God of order, so that means we have to do everything in orderliness. Thank you very much, Shini, for the detailed explanation. And to our dear viewers, don't forget to come to New Life Today Church, Fifth Gong Avenue, at 21st of September, to see the drills and many more. Thank you. Many thanks to you, Harold and Ushindi. Now let's switch gears to business news. The Pathfinder year has been jam-packed with major events, from the Pathfinder Bible Experience PBE in the Netherlands to the Guard of Honor and even the International Campuri that was recently held in the United States. These events have not only tested our knowledge and skills, but also brought us together in fellowship with Pathfinders from all over the world. It's been a whirlwind of activities, and there's still more to come. Our reporter Virinda will be speaking with Lambert, who will give us an insight into the numbers, analyzing attendance at past Pathfinder Sabbaths, and highlighting some key events from this year. Whether you participated in the PBE, cheered us on in the Guard of Honor, or supported the International Campuri, this discussion will definitely spark some great memories. And with Pathfinder Sabbath on 21st September, we are expecting an even larger turnout. Let's hear from our very own Virinda and Lambert. Good day, everyone. I'm Virinda, and welcome to a special session. Thank you, Virinda. It's good to be here. Let's start by looking at the attendance of Pathfinder Sabbath in previous years here at New York Church. What shots have you and the team discovered? Well, Virinda, we have seen a steady increase in, popular, in attendance over the past few years. Last year, for instance, we have had a record challenge. This shows how much Pathfinder Sabbath has grown in popularity and importance to the community here in Nairobi. It's important to note that in last year's Pathfinder Sabbath, we had tens of non-Adventist non visitors who came, to visit, who came to fellowship with us, and the majority of them were young teens. That's fantastic news. It's good to see such achievements in the previous years here at the United Church. Can you explain the event that your team has had, like the, the God of Honor, the International Company? Okay, so... It's been an incredible year within that. The Pathfinder Bible experience is a true highlight where our team not only participated, but excelled showing deep knowledge and teamwork. I am excited to report to the viewer that Flying Marine Club not only represented New Life at this global event, but it also represented Kenya and Africa at this global event that was held in Netherlands. And what will be better? Coming back home, attend the first place position. Given the enthusiasm I've seen in the past and the momentum from this year's events, we are expecting a vibrant and well attended Pathfinder Sabbath. It will be filled with spiritual uplifting events, and everybody should be ready so that we cannot miss because it will be a truly special event. Thank you so much, Rande, for those insights. It will be an unforgettable Pathfinder Summer. And to everyone watching, make sure that you mark your calendars on, on, on September 21st. You won't want to miss it. Thank you very much, Virinda and Lambert, for that insight. Finally, we all want to know what the weather will be like on September 21st, when we'll be having our much-awaited 
Pathfinder Sabbath. Whether it's rain or shine, we know the Pathfinder Sabbath will be a day filled with blessings. After all, as the Bible reminds us, the rain is a symbol of God's showers of blessings, and the sunlight symbolizes his righteousness. So whether rain or sunshine, we have a reason to be there on this big day. Amanda and Sheila have been studying the weather patterns and they'll be sharing their focus with us. They'll not only tell us on what to expect, but also give us some spiritual advice on how to prepare, not just for this day, but also that for that bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and will be caught up in the clouds of the air to meet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's check in with our very own Amanda and Sheila to get the full focus. Hello everyone, I'm Amanda and welcome to our weather news segment as we'll be preparing for our Pathfinder Sabbath on the 1st of September. Today we'll be discussing about the weather forecast for that special day and what it means to get people planning to attend. To help us with this, I have Sheila here, who has been studying the other day. Welcome, Sheila. Thank you, Amanda. I'm excited to share what we found. Great. So, what do you, what can you tell us about the weather forecast for that day? From what we found, we found that on that particular day, there will be a 29 degree high and a 19 degrees low and a 10% chance of rain. Rains are showers of blessing, and a little rain won't dampen our faith, our spirit. Here at New Life Fifth Ngong Avenue, there'll be a wind blowing. That's a wonderful way to see the weather. So, if the weather is looking good, what advice do you have for the people planning to attend? For the people planning at, to attend, if it's sunny, we ideal you to wear a light and comfortable clothes. And remember to wear the, the full armor of God spiritually and don't, miss, and don't miss to attend this occasion. Thank you for sharing with us those insights. And to everyone, hope to see you in church on 21st of September 2024, ready to enjoy a Many thanks, Amanda and Sheila. In studio with me, I have one of my little Pathfinder friends, Idali Gimona, who is more than willing to share a couple of valuable insights on what she knows about the Pathfinder Sabbath. It's more of like a sneak peek for you viewers at home. So, welcome, Idali. Thank you, Leila. So, I'd like to ask you, who is our guest speaker on this special Sabbath? Thank you, Leila. Our guest speaker is an, our amazing teacher, Teacher Constance. Mm -hmm. We are so excited to hear what she has to tell us. I'm excited too, really. I can't wait to hear what she has prepared for all of us. Um, and how about the dates? I don't think the viewers have had the dates enough for them to know when it's going to happen. So what dates are happening? When, when and when? Like, what time and what dates? It's on happen? the 21st of September. Don't forget to be there. Mm -hmm. If you're not there, you'll regret it. So make sure you come on down to New Life SDA Church, 5th Ngong Avenue, Nairobi, for another spectacular Pathfinder Sabbath. And how about what we should expect? Like, yeah, it's Pathfinder Sabbath, but what's going to be there? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. The Pathfinders will be presenting songs, skits, and even their drills. Wow, that's a lot of Pathfinder fun. And what are you doing staying at home on 21st? Come on down to New Life SDA Church and be blessed as many of us have been in the past. And lastly, Ida, what would you tell a viewer at home? Don't forget to be there. It's going to be an amazing Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Send this clip to your friends, mm -hmm. your aunties, your uncles, and even if your grandparents if they're there. Yes, tell a friend to tell a friend. Why waste the opportunity while you can spread the gospel from the comfort of your home? Also, bring a friend or two, right? Or your neighbor, your classmate, your colleague, anybody you can find. Thank you very much, Idali, for joining me. You're welcome. And there you have it, friends. As you can see, it's been an incredible year for the Pathfinders. 
and we are capping it off with our much anticipated Pathfinder Sabbath on the 21st of September. We can't wait to worship, fellowship and share this special day with you. Whether you've been a Pathfinder for years or you're just joining in or you once were, we know you'll be blessed by all that is in store. Thank you so much for joining us today on behalf of the entire crew who made this possible and the entire New Life's Flying Marine Pathfinder Club at large. We look forward to seeing you here at New Life Fifth Gong Avenue on the 21st of September. Mark your calendars. Be sure to bring along with you your friends and also your neighbors. Carry your smiles, your energy and above all, your courage in Christ. My name is Leila Awino. This was FMPC News. And until then, stay blessed.